going to set the sleeve in. First of all, sew up the shoulder seams for the front and the back and then place the sleeve where the arm model is going to be. On the main uh, part there's a notch so match up the notch to the end, very end of the sleeve. There's also a notch that has to be matched up with the shoulder seam. And the next match is the notch on the other side. And that's where the sleeve will end. What you've got to do now is to use a gathering stitch along the top of the sleeve and fit your sleeve into the available space. And now that's all gathered up and pinned into place ready for sewing. Okay, I've put the gathered sleeve into the armour hole now and I'm just showing you roughly what it would look like. hasn't been sewn up yet but you get the idea of the gathers and how low it will be on the shoulders. Okay I'm now going to sew up the sleeve and then down the front and you will start at your mark on your pattern. So up to the armhole. Turn over these edges so it's flat and you'll only sew up to there and finish off. Then take your sewing out then push that seam down in the opposite direction and starting from there you then sew all the way down the sleeve and only as far as your mark. We're now at the opening of the cuff and we need to neaten off this. So what I've done is I've opened the seam flat, put a pin there to hold it flat, turned over the edges of the cuff. And what you will be doing is sewing up, go past the opening, sew across and then come down again. And you'll do that for both the cuffs. This is a side opening and you will do exactly the same as you did on the cuff. Open out the seam and you'll be sewing up to the top, go past the opening, across and then back down again. The front of the shirt is meant to be shorter than the back so you haven't made a mistake. Now we're going to put the cuff onto the end of the sleeve. First of all find the halfway mark of your cuff and the halfway mark of your sleeve and put a pin in there to hold it and also put a pin at both ends to hold it securely. What you're going to do now is pull in the running stitch that you put all the way across the bottom of the sleeve This is what you're going to end up with. It's all been gathered up evenly all the way across. Next you'll be sewing from end to end and this is what you'll end up looking like. The next step, I'll just turn it over, is 
you will be neatening the back end. So turn the seam under and then this will have to be hand sewn all the way across and that will complete the sleeve. And these are the finished cuffs. The next stage now will be to sew on a button and do the buttonholes. The last thing to do on your sleeve is to sew on the uh, button and put in the buttonhole. If you're not fortunate enough to have a buttonhole attachment for your sewing machine, you can still make your buttonholes by doing the satin stitch. Now we're going to do the collar for the shirt. When you've sewn up the two pieces along the three sides, don't forget to clip the corners and then turn the whole collar inside out. Next you will need to get some cotton twine. Don't use the uh, polyester or nylon stuff, it's got to be cotton. And then on the right side of the shirt, where it opens at the front, just diagonally place it and then secure it with some hand sewing. It's got to be just below where you're going to turn the collar over later on. Then you'll need to put your gathering stitch all the way across the front of the shoulder seams, the back, and then all the way to the other side and you will need to put another piece of twine on the diagonal just at the end. Then what you'll need to do is exactly the same for the cuff. Find your centre point on the shirt, find the centre point on the collar and you're going to be attaching it to the right side of the shirt. The shirt collar has now been stitched onto the shirt and as you can see where we position where I positioned the twine it's just peeking out right on the corner of the shirt. What you'll do now is turn over the shirt collar and then hand sew it down onto the shirt. As with the cuff I've changed the machine to long stitch and I've gone all the way around the edge. On the original Jack Sparrow if you look closely enough it looks like it's had an embroidery stitch put all the way along it. The last part of making the shirt will be turning up the hem. I've overlocked my edges because the shirt bottom isn't actually going to be seen, it'll be tucked into the britches. But if you don't have an overlocker then you're going to have to make a conventional hem at the end and that completes the shirt. To finish off the tassels, all I've done is put a secure knot about two inches from the end and then frayed the twine. 